As the saying goes, the only bad workout is the one that didn't happen. Welcome to the concept of the 30-day fitness challenge. This is not just about losing a few pounds or building muscle, but an invitation to embrace a lifestyle that values health, vitality, and well-being. Regular exercise, even as simple as a brisk walk, can do wonders for your body and mind. It can increase your energy levels, making you feel more active and less sluggish. It can also trigger the release of endorphins, the body's natural mood boosters, helping you experience a sense of happiness and satisfaction. Moreover, exercise is a powerful ally for your health. It strengthens your heart, uh, lowers your risk of chronic diseases, and improves your overall physical fitness. It's not about setting records or being the fastest, it's about investing in you. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. The first week is all about building your stamina. Your journey begins here, with the simple goal of increasing your endurance. Now, we're not talking marathons here. We're talking about something achievable, like a brisk walk around the block or a light jog in the park. You'll start with light cardio activities, such as walking. Walking is a fantastic starting point for beginners. You can adjust the pace and duration to suit your current fitness level and gradually increase as your stamina improves. A 15 to 20 minute walk each day can do wonders in building your foundation. Alongside walking, you can also incorporate simple bodyweight exercises. Think basic movements like squats, lunges, push-ups, or sit-ups. Start with a manageable number of repetitions, perhaps 5 to 10 of each exercise, and gradually build up as your strength and stamina improve. Remember, this is not about pushing yourself to exhaustion. It's about consistency. It's about showing up for yourself each day, even if you can only manage a few minutes. It's about making a commitment and sticking to it. This is your journey and every step you take, no matter how small, is a step in the right direction. So let's get moving. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can, you've got this. The road to fitness is a marathon, not a sprint. And remember, it's not about how much you do, but rather making a commitment and sticking to it. As we move into the second week, it's time to push a little harder. Now you've laid the groundwork, you've built up some stamina, and you're ready to step it up a notch. This week, we're going to increase the intensity and duration of your workouts. So let's dive right in. We'll start with some light jogging. Now, don't worry if you can't jog for long periods. The key here is consistency. Aim for a steady pace and try to jog a little bit longer each day. Next, we'll add in some jumping jacks. This is a fantastic exercise for boosting your heart rate and improving cardiovascular fitness. Start with a set of 10 and each day try to add on a few more. Lastly, we're going to incorporate squats into your workout routine. Squats are a great way to strengthen your legs and core. Begin with a set of five and work your way up. Remember to keep your back straight and your knees behind your toes. As we venture into this second week, remember that the goal is not to complete the most reps or jog the furthest. The goal is to gradually increase your intensity and duration each day. You're not competing with anyone else here, just yourself. Keep pushing, keep striving, and remember to listen to your body. Rest when you need to, but challenge yourself to do a little more each day. Remember, it's not about being the best. It's about being better than you were yesterday. In week three, we're going to focus on building strength. This stage is crucial to the transformation journey. Strength training helps to build lean muscle mass, improve your metabolism, and boost your stamina for daily activities. Let's talk about the exercises we'll be incorporating into this week's routine. The first one is push-ups. These are great for building upper body strength, primarily focusing on your chest, shoulders, and triceps. Start in a high plank position. Lower your body until your chest almost touches the floor, and then push back up to the starting position. Remember, it's not about how many push-ups you can do, but how well you can do them. Next up, lunges. These are fantastic for working your lower body, particularly your glutes, quads, and hamstrings. Stand tall, step forward with one foot, and lower your body until your front knee is at a 90-degree angle. Then, push back up and repeat with the other leg. Again, focus on your form rather than the number of reps. And last but not least, we have planks. This is a full-body exercise that works your core, enhances your balance, and strengthens your back. Start in a forearm position. Keep your body straight from head to heels and hold 
Just like the other exercises, it's about quality, not quantity. These three exercises form the backbone of our strength training for this week. Of course, warm up before you start and cool down after you finish are essential parts of the routine. And remember the importance of proper form cannot be overstated. It's what keeps you safe and ensures you're effectively targeting the right muscles. This week is going to test your determination and push your boundaries. But remember, every effort you put in brings you one step closer to your goal. And always keep in mind, strength doesn't come from what you can do. It comes from overcoming the things you once thought you couldn't. And in the final week, we're going to put it all together with full body workouts. This is the week where we bring everything we've learned into play. We're going to take the stamina building from week one, the intensity increase from week two, and the strength training from week three, and fuse them into comprehensive full body exercises. Let's start with compound movements. These exercises, like squats, deadlifts, and bench presses, work multiple muscle groups at once, providing a balanced and effective workout. They're great for building strength and burning calories. Next, we introduce cardio workouts. Running, cycling, or even dancing, it's your choice. These exercises are not only fun, but they also enhance your heart health and endurance. Don't forget about flexibility and balanced training. Incorporating yoga or Pilates can improve your posture, reduce injury risk, and also contribute to your overall fitness. And finally, we'll add in some high-intensity interval training, or height for short. This type of workout alternates between intense bursts of activity and fixed periods of less intense activity or even complete rest. It's a great way to boost your metabolism and speed up your fat-burning process. Remember to mix it up to keep things interesting. Variety not only enhances your physical performance, but also keeps you mentally stimulated. It's the final stretch now, the culmination of all your hard work. Embrace this week with all the energy and determination you've built up. The finish line is just around the corner. Keep pushing, you've got this. Congratulations on completing the 30-day fitness challenge. It's a remarkable achievement, but remember, this is just the beginning. Maintain this momentum and continue to embrace the active lifestyle you've cultivated. Mix it up, try new workouts, perhaps join a local fitness club. Your journey doesn't end here. It evolves. Keep pushing, keep improving, and most importantly, keep going. Share your progress and inspire others. Remember, fitness is not about being better than someone else. It's about being better than you used to be. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.